Oh, this is a big box from my friends at JG Maker. This is their new dual independent X extruder 3D printer. I don't remember what this thing is called. Uh, the Artist D is what it's called. <laughs> I did not expect this box to be so huge. Now, like all of these unboxing videos, I can't tell you a thing about this printer because I haven't even seen it yet. But I want to talk about something else related to this printer. I want to talk about 3D printers on Kickstarter, in particular, commercial grade 3D printers showing up on Kickstarter. And I really do want to hear your thoughts on this subject because yes, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my thoughts, but if you've got an idea about whether this is right or whether this is wrong, don't wait until you hear my thoughts on it. Go ahead, Oof. <laughs> jump into the comments right now. And yeah, I wanna know what do you think of commercial companies putting their commercial already developed product on Kickstarter to essentially compete with the little guys who are also trying to get by on Kickstarter. So if you've got thoughts about it, pause the video, write your comment now. You can write two comments on a video. There's nothing telling you you can't do that. I'll wait for you while you pause that. There they are, the dual independently moving X extruders. Okay, honestly, I'm super excited to, to get this printer and I hope that it works as advertised because this is one of the pre-production units. Yes, this printer is going to be on Kickstarter. You can check it out right now. But what do you think about that? Now, I've heard some people talking about this and they say, yeah, Kickstarter, this is against the idea of Kickstarter. That Kickstarter is meant for the little guys and when a big guy comes in there and competes that the little guy can't compete with them and that it's not fair. Now, I mean, I've been on Kickstarter a couple times and I'm a little guy, I haven't even got a cameraman here with me. It's just me here working on this stuff. So yeah, I would say that I'm within that definition of what Kickstarter is. But at the same time, the more, the more I live and the more I see the world, the more I realize that there's very little difference between the big guys and the little guys in a lot of ways. And so it's not necessarily unfair for the big guys to be taking advantage of the same things that work for the little guys. Plus, you know, when Creality, Creality has already jumped on. They're the ones who got people started about this whole subject. And in fact, they're gonna do it again because their first one raised a lot of money. But people were saying, this isn't a Kickstarter project. They've already got it done. What's the point? Now in the past, when there have been 3D printers on Kickstarter, they've been one of a couple of different kinds. Either they're a well-meaning person starting out who just doesn't know what they're doing and it's gonna be 50-50 on whether they deliver or it's a scam. Taken in that light, a commercial product on Kickstarter, you at least know that they're going to deliver something you know that this company is going to give you something because it's already ready and they've got the business acumen and they've got the engineering. That's why these Kickstarters do so well because when these companies jump on Kickstarter, I think people go, you know what? I'm not gonna get shafted on this one. I'm going to get what I deliver or what I wanted and these people deliver, so yes, I'm excited about dual independent extruders because I'm excited about using two materials at once, not just for the artistic aspect, but uh, I got some, some 
conductive filament that I want to play with. And there's other conductive filament out there that's very expensive. I've got my, my dual nozzle machine right here, my Flash Forge, uh, Flash Forge Max here, and so I could play with it with this, but dual nozzles, when both of the nozzles are locked together, that causes drool and, and slop, and I'm hoping with this, there'll be a lot less. So I'm super excited to explore this, but that's not what this video is about. Once again, JG Maker delivers on the absolutely beautiful engineering job. Although it's interesting to me, there's still some 220 extrusions sticking out here that the, the Y axis is rolling along, but everything else, machined metal, it's looking really good. Ooh, and a removable build plate. This one's gonna be fun. Now, I, like I said, I've been on Kickstarter before and I'll be on Kickstarter again. And I've been criticized for my projects on Kickstarter. People are like, hey, you're not delivering a thing. And quite frankly, whether you succeed or fail isn't you know, going to change your project very much. You don't need this money to build your project. You could build it as a digital product, right? And so therefore you don't need to have this Kickstarter, which technically they're true. However, I have seen the Kickstarter effect that effect of being a part of a limited time offer that you just have to get in on right now. And yeah, I take advantage of that for my Kickstarters to be successful. I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie or hide from the fact that I run a Kickstarter not because I have a project that I want to make real, which, okay, not just because I have a project that I make real and because that laser focus time to work on it is absolutely valuable to me. But I also run a Kickstarter because Kickstarters make money. When a Kickstarter is successful, when people are in that feeding frenzy and, and wanting to jump on and support it, yeah, it, it makes more money in a month, plus a little bit of lead up, plus a little bit of cool down, than I would make in a year on Patreon, or just selling the models on my website, or just selling the models somewhere else. There is something about that, that frenzy of Kickstarter, of this limited time offer that, that gets people to open up and, and participate in ways that no other traditional way doing it does. And are these big companies taking advantage of that? Yeah, absolutely they are. And I can't fault them for that because I do the same thing, but maybe you can, maybe you are in a position where you can take the high road on this one and say, yeah, that's not okay. From a business perspective, that's not good for the consumer. That's not good for people that shouldn't happen. And I'm curious if any of the comments in the comment section are going to say that. But I can't say that because, yeah, you know, a, a large portion of the way that I support this channel is through those Kickstarters. And I do it because those Kickstarters get people going. Oh, settled right in there. Cool. Well, that's kind of all that I have to say on it. The history of Kickstarters and 3D printers on Kickstarters has not been great and having a commercial company come in, is that going to damage the few honest entrepreneurs who are trying to get going on Kickstarter or is it going to be independent? And is it okay if they do this? And let me ask you, outside of the tech industry, what if, uh, I don't know, what if Oreo were to kickstart a new flavor? Or what if, uh, what if the Girl Scout cookies were to start being sold on Kickstarter, would you guys be okay with that? That sort of, you know they're gonna deliver, it's, it's not the traditional thing and it's competing with people who might already be there. I don't know why I came up with two cookie examples just now. I might be a little bit hungry. Right, quick note from the editing desk. Something that has come up since I recorded that video a lot in social media is the effect of a successful Kickstarter on the company 
that runs the successful Kickstarter. If, if one of these companies raises millions of dollars, then they have millions of dollars worth of Kickstarter backers who they have to satisfy. And that is a large order. And whenever you get a large order and you feel that pressure to deliver, some things might get forgotten. Things like, you know, quality assurance checks, which albeit Chinese manufacturers are not really well known for their quality assurance checks, but they do some, and even that might get missed. And we're seeing that effect. If you look at the everybody who's getting their Kickstarter printers from Creality, their most recent Kickstarter one back, uh, they're going up in flames. Well, not going up in flames. They're going up in smoke. Their 3D printers are literally burning up in smoke. No flames, no fires, no, no damage so far, but people are losing their their deliverable their product and you know that's leading to frustration but you kind of got to keep in mind that a kickstarter is not necessarily to get a thing you are supporting a company so that they can do something and you getting that deliverable is nice but not the focus not the goal not what kickstarter is about it might be what you got into it for but that's not the idea behind Kickstarter. Now, keep in mind that if they promise a deliverable and they don't deliver it, yes, they they have liability and that is an entirely different conversation. But what I think we're seeing here, especially from these bigger companies jumping on Kickstarter, is that they are going to deliver. That is a given. But are they going to be able to deliver a quality product or would you get a better product if you waited and ordered it a year at retail prices, whatever those retail prices are going to be? That's a decision that you have to make. And, and for me, if I see a product, if I see a printer, what we're talking about, that is going to increase my capability to make that is going to make it possible for me to make cooler things. I will I will take that all into consideration as to whether or not I back that Kickstarter. Well, I'm gonna put this machine together. I can't wait to do some test prints with it and see how it works. And hey, I know I'm not reviewing this printer, but so far I'm excited and hopeful. Although these are some really big extruder carriages. We'll dig into those and see what those are about in the future. But now that you've heard my thoughts on the subject, have you changed your ideas about Kickstarter? Go ahead and leave a second comment if you want. There's nothing wrong with having a before and after comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the discussion. And hey, if there's enough talk about it going on, maybe I will do a second video about this subject reviewing your comments. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll do that. Has any of my videos gotten a thousand likes? I don't know. Anyways, I thank you guys very much for hanging out with me and watching me unbox this printer. If you want to know more about it, there will be a link in the description that you can check it out. But as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you. And I'll see you next time. Videos for you to check out there. Where's that? Where's that cut? There you go. Nip.